The government of Jamaica temporarily closed educational institutions in an attempt to contain the spread of the coronavirus. The physical closure of schools forced institutions to switch to virtual and remote learning platforms. But what is the impact of this new paradigm on the student body? The preliminary findings of a survey on the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic on Jamaican children and the capacity to respond were released by UNICEF and Capri. Marlon Samuels has more on the findings. The COVID-19 pandemic has impacted thousands of students across Jamaica. It led to the closure of nearly all schools, colleges and universities. This resulted in interruptions in students' learning, disruptions in internal school assessments, and the cancellation of PEP, and the postponement or cancellation of other exams. The solution put forward was homeschooling and online classes. The preliminary findings of a survey done between June 23 and July 13 on the effect of the COVID-19 pandemic on Jamaican children and the capacity to respond was released by UNICEF and Capri on September 8. The findings show that the lockdown of schools has resulted in unequal interruption in students' learning and socialization. 80% of those surveyed said they had access to internet and a device. Most said they had access on their mobile phones. However, 34% did not have exclusive access to a device for educational purposes. The research shows that many families do not want to send their children to school for fear they get COVID-19. Many families are also faced with reduced incomes. 46% of those surveyed said they had lost their source of income. 44% are experiencing food shortages and are now eating fewer and smaller meals. Despite these fears, lack of income and other resources more than 30% of those surveyed are not satisfied with distance learning. Many of the children have little supervision while online. They are suffering emotionally. They complain of being bored, frustrated, anxious, sad, and fearful. The recommendation is for schools to reopen with strict biosecure protocols to keep children safe nutritional support to be given to children, so to universal internet access, as well as psychosocial support services. For the news on PBCJ, I'm Marlon Samuels.